Hello, and welcome to another edition of Ontology Talk. I'm Adam Pease, and today I'd like to do another example of formalizing a term from the news in Sumo. And I noticed in the news today uh, a, a uh, report about a positive tests for COVID-19 on a cruise ship. So I thought maybe we should just look at how to formalize the notion of a cruise ship. So I looked in Sumo, and we do already have a concept cruise ship, but really no very little definition, just taxonomic uh, structure and, a, and some comments and some linguistic data. So uh, we know that a cruise ship is a kind of passenger ship. We have some information um, about the pretty printable form in both English and Chinese so far uh, for the notion of a cruise ship. Um, and we have a comment that a cruise ship is a subclass of passenger ships, designed for the purposes, a purpose of carrying passengers on extended trips. Um, I think that's a bit vague. So let's take a look uh, here in the transportation.kif file where that concept is defined. Um, and uh, maybe we want to modify, start with modifying the comment a little bit. So it's designed for the purpose of carrying passengers on, do they need to be extended? Um, you know, you can have a cruise ship uh, that takes you for, say, a three-day trip. Um, I don't know that that would be considered extended. So I'd say it's on trips for entertainment is really the key, um, as opposed to trying to get to a destination for work, for example. So let's see if we can start formalizing that. So let's say that uh, if we have an instance of a cruise ship, then it has the purpose, okay, and this is key, right? If, if uh, Carnival Cruise Lines or some other cruise operator builds uh, a cruise ship, but it hasn't yet sailed, it's still a cruise ship because the purpose uh, of the company that's built this ship is that it be used as a cruise ship. Or if we just say that uh, it's only a cruise ship if, in fact, it's carried passengers for the purpose of entertainment, then this same object will sort of magically become a cruise ship the moment uh, it, uh, passengers uh, go on it and start being entertained. And that would be silly, right? It's a cruise ship uh, right when it comes off to the, dr the dry docks because it has this purpose. It hasn't magically changed class membership. Um, and this is an important uh, sort of design consideration in ontology. So you can tie yourself into all sorts of knots uh, if you don't take care of having clarity between the notion of uh, something that is what it, what it is um, based on its use uh, as opposed to the things that are invariant uh, even beyond its use. So it really has to do with the, the, the purpose in this case, uh, independent of... Uh, what it's actually been used for yet. And you see this uh, 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 happens an awful lot. Uh, certainly it came up very often, things we were doing with uh, cars and other machinery, lots of physical objects. You know, is a chair, uh, a chair become a chair only once somebody has sat on it? No, it's still a chair when the, uh, the cabinet maker or the furniture maker uh, has uh, carved that chair even before somebody sat on it. So. All right, back to this. Uh, so let's say that C has the purpose that there exists some event E and some agent A um, where, let's take a look and see if we have something about entertainment. I think we have recreation or exercise. Uh, let's, let's look for entertainment. Not sure if we have that. Yeah, so we don't have, do we have entertainment, building, company, profession? Um, we have arts and entertainment. Let's take a look, look, look here in WordNet, see if they, yeah, we have recreation or exercise. That's what I thought. Um, and so what do we have for recreation or exercise? Yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's reasonable. Vacationing. Uh, let's take a look for vacationing. Taking time off from working. 
Could you be working while you're on a cruise ship? I suppose you could be working remotely. Uh, let's stick with recreation or exercise. I think that's the best fit. Um, it's certainly not contradicted by anything in the definition. So let's say we have an instance E of recreation or exercise that we have. Uh, let's say we also going to need to talk about the company that owns the ship, I think. So, so there's an owner that possesses the cruise ship. Um, and there's an agent of the recreation or exercise that is going to be the customer at this point. And then we're going to have a customer of the company is the agent. Uh, let's just check the argument order on that of customer. So I'm going to look up customer here. Okay, there we go. It's a financial transaction between two agents such that the first is the destination. Okay, the, the first argument is the one that gets the money. All right, so that's the company selling the, the thing or the service or whatever it is. Um, and the second is the, the agent. So argument two is handing money to argument one. Great, so argument two is this agent. Okay. So the agent of the recreation or exercise is the customer of the owner of the cruise ship. And the location, or let's see, I think it's located. Let's double check that. Yeah, located. Uh, ah, but this is for objects. So what we actually want is event located. There we go. Okay, it's, and that's a case rule, right? So it's a relation between a process and some entity that participates in the process. That's what case rules do. Uh, so that's the one we want. So let's do the event located. Event located. Um, and the process is the recreation or exercise, and the location is the cruise ship. Okay, so this at least gives us one rule that some definition. So a cruise ship is necessarily something that has the purpose that there's the, the company that owns the cruise ship is has customers that engage in recreation or exercise on that ship. Um, now the next question I'd say is, what? How does this? Could this be distinguished from, say, a canoe rental company where people are going out to paddle on the canoe? Um, so that would be a craft that does have, well, let's see. It doesn't, however, have the purpose of being uh, a cruise ship, right? So a canoe is manufactured and then a company can buy that canoe um, and people can use it for sport, they can own it themselves. Uh, they could use it for transportation in unusual situations, I guess, if they're living on a remote island or something. Um, so that a canoe or uh, other other watercraft, say personal sorts of watercraft, are not going to be cruise ships because they're not built with the purpose solely of uh, recreation or exercise. Um, I would like to probably say a bit more but I think this is going to require some more thought. So this is another uh, part of the process of developing ontology is crucially thinking through what are all the real world examples that might fail to be distinguished by what you've already defined. Uh, and that's what we're doing by thinking through this notion about canoes and so forth. So I wanted to say also that cruise ships generally make round trips. You start at one location, you go out, you have fun, maybe you visit some ports, you come back, uh, you come back to where you started. But it is also possible that you could have a cruise from one point to another point maybe and fly back. Uh, 
I uh, have heard of such cruises, and so those could still be cruise ships. A cruise ship could still be used in that way and still be a cruise ship. Um, so I can't talk about just one-way trips versus round trips. Um, but I do feel like there's something that we need to say um, that differentiates th uh, this sort of craft um, from one that gets you to a, a destination as the point. On the other hand, um, I could certainly imagine that uh, maybe you have a business trip, uh, you need to get to a certain location, but you have some extra time, and so you take a cruise with your family uh, in order to get to that business trip. Um, and that wouldn't make it not a cruise ship, just because you have a destination to get to, and maybe it's a business destination. Um, so I think it's something about the entertainment provided on the ship, and yet, um, if you were on a sort of, uh, you know, a ferry, let's say, uh, I've been on a couple of ferries where, for example, they have uh, gambling on board, maybe they have a slot machine or something. Um, that's recreation or exercise, it's enter entertainment uh, that can take place while on the ship. Uh, but the purpose of the ship is not as a cruise ship, it's uh, you're provided some diversion when you're trying to get from point A to point B. So I don't think we can make that distinction either. So maybe this just requires a little bit more thought, but in any case, I hope this was instructive and uh, showed you both how to create one rule that is true, if maybe insufficient to fully document uh, the, the constraints on this, uh, but also hopefully the thought process of kind of debugging what isn't covered by this by some of the examples I've mentioned. All right, thanks for listening.